good day friends in this lecture we will see the operation of a class e chopper class e chopper is again a dc to dc converter and this can be operated in all four quadrants so the class e chopper consists of four choppers ch1 ch2 ch3 and ch4 and there are four diodes d1 d2 d3 d4 this is the load when the first quadrant operation is required the chopper ch1 is operated means it is kept on and off when the second quadrant operation is required ch2 is operated the third quadrant operation ch3 is operated and for the fourth quadrant operation ch4 is operated let us see the operation of this class e chopper in every quadrant let us see the first quadrant operation let us now see the operation of the class e chopper in the first quadrant for first quadrant operation ch1 is operated it is kept on and then it is kept off when this is kept on ch4 is also kept on and when this operation is carried out we see the current flow through ch1 load ch4 back to the source the current is positive voltage is also positive and when ch1 is kept off the current which is flowing through ch4 takes the free wheeling path through the diode d2 and still the current flow is in the same direction the voltage is also positive so by operating ch1 that is by switching on and off ch1 we can have the first quadrant operation let us now see the second quadrant operation of the class e chopper in this ch2 is kept on or off that is ch2 is operated when ch2 is kept on the current flow in the circuit is as shown through from the load ch2 and d4 the current flow is in the anti clockwise direction and when ch2 is kept off then the current flow will be through d4 d1 source back to b4 so in this case we see that the voltage is going to be positive current is going to be negative so this explains the second quadrant operation of the chopper let us now see the operation of the class e chopper in the third quadrant in the third quadrant voltage and the current both are negative and here ch3 is operated the switch ch3 will be kept on and it is kept off so when the switch ch3 is on the current flow is as shown by the line here ch3 load ch2 back to the source when ch3 is on when ch3 is off the current flows through ch2 and d4 so this here the voltage and the current both are negative this explains the operation in the third quadrant let us now see the operation of the class e chopper in the fourth quadrant here ch4 is operated means ch4 is kept on and it is kept off when ch4 is kept on we see the current flow in the circuit as shown here through the ch4 d2 and the load here v0 is negative current is positive and when ch4 is switched off the current flows through d2 d4 through the source like this in both the cases the current is going to be positive but the voltage is in the negative direction so in this lecture we have seen the operation of a class e chopper in all four quadrants so this uh, diagram explains in which quadrant which switch is switched on so for the operation in the first quadrant ch1 ch4 are on when ch1 is operated ch4 and d2 conduct the second quadrant operation ch2 and d4 are on and when ch2 is switched off d1 d4 conduct third quadrant operation ch3 and ch2 are kept on when ch3 is switched off ch2 and d4 conduct for the fourth quadrant operation ch4 is operated when ch4 and d2 conduct we see the voltage 
to be negative and the current to be positive and D2 and D3 conduct to get the fourth quadrant operation. Hope this explains the class E operation of the chopper. Thank you.